Welcome back to Robert Lowe, where I show you the ins and outs of graphic design as it pertains to t-shirts, logos, and GIF animations. And today for T-Shirt Tuesday, I turned to the comment section for ideas. And the one comment that I got that inspired this episode came from a subscriber, Kiana Carr, who asked for a definition t-shirt, something different from the norm. So if you guys have been following me, then you will know that my ideology consists of drawing first, then designing, which I call sketch first, and showing it without saying it. So design something. So the challenge that I accepted today was to design something without the definition just to see if people can understand it. Then I turned to my outlet for conversation which is Facebook and I asked some of my friends and followers for terms and slang that they didn't understand yet. And the most requested one that I got was dab of ranch. That being a phrase that I didn't even know. It actually took somebody else to tell me what it meant. So with the inspiration and the phrase ready to go, I created two sketches that I'm now ready to start designing. But before I design, what would you like to see designed for T-Shirt Tuesday? Let me know in the comment section below. If it's interesting, you and your idea will be featured in my next show. And if you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you just discovered me through the algorithms, then go ahead and subscribe. I do this all the time. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and make magic. Okay, so the way that I want to approach this design today is pretty much just make the Rolex first. I want to start off by making the square real quick, and then I want to move some of these points over. I use the direct selection tool to do that. And then I just kind of want to bring some of this down. And just to get those perspectives real quick, I need to get the one at the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold Alt and click this and kind of drag it up and then flip it around and then kind of bring this down like this. And then that leaves me with this point right here and that point over there. And that's pretty simple. All I need to do is just kind of make like a, a rectangle. And then with the direct selection tool, just kind of move those anchor points over. And then this final point is the one that comes down at the bottom and just kind of connects. The way that you would do this is just to go to the polygonal tool, which is just clicking and holding on the rectangle tool and just bringing down to the polygonal tool. And then you just click somewhere. I want three sides and I'm gonna hit okay. Then I wanna flip this around and then I wanna line this up in the center. So as you can see, when I move to the center of the diamond, it kind of makes a line. I just wanna make sure that I stay within that line. So I'm just gonna bring that down maybe like right here. And then I wanna go ahead and hold Alt and just kind of scale these out like so. And then I'll kind of scale it up like this. As you can see, the strokes are kind of coming through the diamond. What we're gonna do is just highlight all of it, hit the stroke tab and do an inside stroke. Now this reveals some spots that I need to kind of clean up. So I'm just gonna do that now. And okay, this is looking pretty good now. So what I'm gonna do is click on layer one, go to object, path, and outline stroke. And basically what that did was it turned all these strokes into paths. So now what I can do is I can just highlight all of these, go to pathfinder, and then unite them into one. And basically what that did was it locked everything down into one layer, which is what I want. So now that I have this, I like it, but it's a little thin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna open up a stroke for it. I'm gonna give it another stroke but I want it to be on the outside of it, so I'll do it like that. And that looks kind of really thick, so I'm gonna bring that down to maybe like, we'll go down to a stroke of one, actually. So now that I have this diamond, and it looks pretty good to me, what I wanna do is I wanna create some type of interest or some type of motion to go along with it. And since it's a diamond, I feel like it should be blinging. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some brush strokes to go around it to make it look like it's blinging. So I'm gonna create maybe a line like here, like this. And then I wanna create one down here like this. Then I'm gonna take those two and holding down the Alt or Option button, I'm just gonna kinda of click and drag it over. Then go to Option, Transform, and Reflect to get that back like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bottom one and then kind of flip it around just to go ahead and give it that third point on this side as well. And I want this one to extend out a little bit further. And that's looking good to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put these all into one layer. So collect in one layer, and I'm gonna call this Diamond. And now what I want to do is kind of lock this down and open up a new layer, which would be layer five for me. And what I want to do is pretty much write dab of ranch 
dab is going to go across the top ranch is going to go down the bottom and i guess the diamond would be of so the way that i would do this is pretty much make a circle with the ellipse tool point and put it in the middle like so make sure that it's kind of coming up to those lines and that looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do now is go to edit copy and then copy in front and then i'm gonna turn off the original layer and use that as a guide if i need it so what i want to do is go to the type tool and hold it and i want to go down to type on path tool so i'm gonna click on that and then we're just gonna click somewhere kind of like right here now if you guys can see it's going in a circle except it's not big enough so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the type tool and click on dab and then kind of bring it up and then with the circle i'm just going to go ahead and kind of move that circle in so it's coming out like that now on that bottom ellipse tool that i turned off i'm going to turn that one back on and i'm just going to write out ranch except with this one as you can see it kind of came on the outside i want that to come in on the inside so i'm going to bring this line in on the inside and then scale it back now i want to create a new artboard so i'm going to go to the, my artboard in my layers panel and I'm just gonna go ahead and click the new. And on this one, I wanna go ahead and start my art, which is gonna be a fist with a rolly on it. Now on this new layer that I created, which would be layer seven, this is gonna be my illustration. So now what I wanna do is just create my fist. So I'm gonna make that by making a few strokes. So now I wanna make the rest of this wrist. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create a rectangle and then go to layer eight and then kind of just start from here and then make that. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in with the direct selection tool. I just wanna make sure that these points line up. So I'm gonna bring this down like this and I wanna zoom in some more. I just wanna make sure that these points line up so I can make a, a good transition between them. Now what I wanna do is just go ahead and merge all these together. So what I'm gonna do is Pretty much make a box selection around both of them go to path and then hit unite tool then i could take these two and just kind of make a point out here too now on my layers panel i want to just go ahead and lock down all of this and then i want to go ahead and create a new layer and in this new layer i'm gonna start building out my rolex let's just say the rolex starts right here in the middle i can just scale it out like this now this becomes the point where i open up some guides so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create something maybe like right here and then one that comes down like maybe right here. And then I wanna come over to the other side and do it over here, right here. And then I want this one to come down about right here. So I'm gonna move in. And then with the pen tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and create some lines. That's making the Rolex shape basically. So making this band for the, uh, the Rolex, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a copy of it object transform reflect then i want this one to go on a horizontal axis and hit ok now i can take both of these hold alter option and then move it over to the left or the far right go to object transform reflect and then do a vertical reflect and have that come back over here now i can just kind of bring it in like so okay so now what i want to do is just go ahead hold alter option and make a, a copy of it and just kind of move it back in right here Except this time I'm going to make this copy white and then kind of scale it down. I'm going to make the original one white and then give that a stroke of black. And then I'm going to come in on this one and give this a black stroke in the inside. In the insides, what they usually have is like these three circles. And then with those circles, you have one in the middle, which is supposed to be the dab of ranch. So if anybody wants to know what the dab of ranch was, this is the dab of ranch. And now on a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and create a rectangle. And with this rectangle, it's gonna be like, I guess the, what do you call that, the feet, the, the pointers? I can't remember what you call the pointers. It's the hands, I believe. The hands, I'm gonna take the hands, and I want this one to come out just a little bit like this. And then I can take this one and then duplicate it and put it over here as well. And then have that one come out, maybe I'll say like right here. Now, Rolex have kind of like a, a funny face. So basically inside of these circles, there's another circle and another finger or whatnot or hand, I'm not sure what you call it, but in these circles, that's what you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that. And then they have like these numbers that go around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick. And the way that we're gonna do that is just make a copy of it, hold an alter option, move it back in like so, and then scale it down. And 
that looks pretty good so what i'm gonna do is just lock this layer down and then on layer 12 take a rectangle and then kind of turn off the strokes on this one as well just create a single tick so here's a great tip if you click on that layer and then you hit r and then you go into the center and you hold option and then just click in the center it's going to give you something like this which is just the sub menu for the rotate now i'm going to put in 15 degrees all right and then i'm going to turn on the preview and as you can see it's just going to move 15 degrees so actually let's just do five and then hit copy and as you can see it makes another line for you if i hold down command d then it just repeats it all over which is what we kind of want so I hold down command d and let it go all the way around and there we go now i'm gonna take that copy it and then paste those in front of the places that i needed to go now the last thing that we got to do with these circles before we start doing anything else is pretty much just create that line that usually comes from this Now I want to go back into the face real quick and I want to click on these hands real quick and I'm just going to make a copy of it so command C and then paste in front of those and then I just want to give those a stroke of maybe two but with those originals that I've created I just want to go ahead and scale these down some something like that and that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna lock these layers down now up under this Rolex face there's a few dials that come out so the first dial is coming at the top and then we're gonna bring this one, we're gonna make a copy of that and bring it off to the side like so, and then take that and then bring it over here. And then with this one that's at the middle, I just wanna go ahead and bring it up and then kind of scale it in like so. Then we can bring this into the back so it looks like this. And then we're gonna lock these layers down. So I'm gonna open up a new layer. And then on this one, I'm just gonna turn off the fill and just make a few rectangles going forward. And this is coming along pretty well. So now all I need to do is fix out this band. And basically bands don't look like this. Rolex bands don't look like this. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and turn on the transparency. I wanna drop this down to maybe like, it doesn't really matter, 20% is fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock that layer down. Now in this new layer that I just created, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the round rectangle tool. And I just wanna make pretty much just a rectangle. And I just wanna kinda move this around some, so. I think this looks good here. I can bring the points down on this and then I can copy this over to the next cell as you can say and just kind of scale it down because it's going into one direction. Now with these two, I'm just gonna select them both, hold the option alt button down and just kind of scale it down and then go to transform, reflect and then do a horizontal reflect and hit okay. Now I'm gonna come in under everything with that same tool and just kind of do it again except this time, I'm not gonna worry about the perspectives of it. And then when I turn that off, this is what our Rolex look like. So, and that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock these layers and I'm gonna put them all into one. Now I'm gonna lock that layer down and then I'm gonna go in at the bottom of it with a new layer. Now, of course, this is a person that's probably hairy or has a tattoo or something like that. I'm just gonna say tattoo. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a small line real quick, a real thin line actually. And I wanna go ahead and put this line off to the side. Not too far to the side, but something like this. And what I want to do is pretty much start a crosshatch kind of shading. I'm just kind of moving it and building it up like this. And then what I want to do is just kind of select them all, hold alter option, and just kind of pull them over like this. And then if it doesn't reach or anything like that, I'm just going to stretch it out at the top. Now at this point, I just want to go ahead and copy this. So command C, just go to edit, paste in front, scale out, and just kind of move it over this way. Now looking at this kind of looks like a mess. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up layer 22 and then dump layer 23 on top of it and then just pretty much select them all. So what I'm gonna do now is bring in the shape builder tool and just kind of erase the stuff that I don't need. And that's everything that kind of goes outside of this arm, so. And all right, that looks pretty cool. So I pretty much have the premise of everything that I need. I have the arm and the Rolex. I have the actual shape. I have the actual tattoo for the arms or whatnot or the hair, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to go ahead and collect that into one layer. Now, just kind of as a signature, as you know, that is mine. 
I like to make like a pyramid eye. So I'm just going to start from over here and just do something like this. It doesn't have to be too fancy or anything like that. As long as people understand what's going on. So I'm just going to make one right here and then make one right here. And then at the bottom, just kind of do something like that. And then inside of this with the ellipse tool, I'm just going to go ahead and make a small circle. And then with this brush again, I'm just going to go ahead and make some squiggles like this. And that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just select all of this, except for that, that eye that I put in the middle. And just kind of bring the stroke up some. And just pull it down just a little bit along with this eye. And this is looking pretty good, you guys, by the way. I really like the way this is coming out. But now what I want to do is just kind of make like a little outline stroke. So I'm just going to start from the bottom, kind of bring it through like this. And I really like the way this is turning out. So I'm going to go ahead on a new layer, which is layer 27, just go ahead and make a rectangle on the back of it. And I want to make this black. And we can go in and change this color anytime we want to. We can make it blue. We can make it anything. Make it orange, yellow, green if I want it to be green. I'm just going to keep it at white though for right now. However, I do want to start my coloring process. So I'm going to go ahead and start down here with this Rolex. So the colors that I chose for this Rolex is blue and gold. So I'm just going to go ahead and start from here with the inside of the Rolex band and make that gold. And then the actual Rolex face, I can make this blue. And this is looking pretty good. However, I want to make some shadows and stuff like that. So I'm going to start my shadowing process on this Rolex. So, so I want to start here and then I want to bring this around and then lock it back up at the top. And then with that, I'm going to drop that inside of the actual face of the Rolex. And then I can make that that darker blue that we kind of moved off on. And this is looking pretty good. So basically now what we want to do is just go through with everything and just kind of do it again. And then inside of some of these shadows, I'm gonna go ahead and make some highlights. So in my brush tool with an off-white, not really too white, but just kind of off just a little bit, something that's a little bit lighter than what I've already been using, I just wanna go ahead and create some points. So one right here, and then one right here. And then I'll make a new layer. And on top of this layer, I wanna make this one just a little bit darker because it's in the highlights already. So this would be kind of more of like a shadow thing. Now this looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead with my brush and write out some of my elements. Now I use my own kind of little font. There's no real font out here that has what I wanna do. So I kind of hand draw my own font. And instead of me writing out Rolex like a thousand and one times, I'm just gonna go ahead and hold Alt or Option and then kind of move that around. And then of course, I'm just gonna put a line inside of all of these O's. Now I'm gonna move up one more layer with the brush and then I'm gonna make some smoke lines. And then up under all of that, I'm gonna go ahead and make kind of like a little small diamond. So with the polygon tool, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a three-sided polygon, kind of rotate it around to where the polygon is at the bottom. And I'm gonna scale it out vertically or is that horizontally. Now I want this to be in the center of everything. And I wanna at least make sure that I'm getting exactly what I want out of this. And it needs to be able to hold this design inside of it proportionately. And that looks pretty good. But now what I wanna do is just go ahead and raise the stroke up just a little bit, maybe 11. 10 looks pretty good. Now with that being selected, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a rectangle that extends a little bit under this first R of the Rolex. And then I'm gonna select both of these and go into the Shape Builder tool. And then with that, I'm gonna hold out Alt or Option and then click and drag all the stuff that I don't want. Now this is becoming a little bit too much for the artboard. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of select all of this out and just kind of drag it up. But with this arrow, I just kind of want to make a copy of it and kind of bring it down some. So this is looking pretty good. I have the rolly, 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 and now I have to put the width the over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that out now. And that looks pretty good. So I think this is what we're gonna roll with. I just wanna go ahead and move up this arm just a little bit more. And then I think we can go ahead and proceed with the coloring process. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and take this and I wanna go ahead and kind of get a fleshy tone. So something off, not too yellow, but maybe something more like this. This looks pretty good to me. But then above that, I wanna go ahead and make this eye white. So. Now 
I'ma lock down all of these layers and I'ma go up to the top and I just wanna go ahead and give some detail. So the way that I usually do detail is I just go ahead with a brush and I just kinda do some shading. Just kinda go through and just kinda make some shades. Especially here in this eye, we can probably give it some stress. It just looks better and a little bit more complete when you do stuff like that. I just wanna get this side of the hand out and actually we're gonna go ahead and make this green. So we're gonna make that bottom one green and we're gonna turn the first one blue green. And okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back the dab of ranch. And with that, I'm gonna go up under this and I just wanna go ahead and make this silver. So I'm gonna lock down the dab of ranch and then I'm just gonna go under it like so and make it silver. Now really quick, all I wanna do is just make layer 44, go up under layer 45 and give this a black background real quick. Now I can go ahead and turn this white. And then with this layer, I just wanna bring this into layer 43 and just kind of give it some shadows. And with these final tweaks, our design is complete. So the challenge here today was to create something that was more understood than said. So if you guys actually understood what was going on, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below. If there's anything that you want to see me design on this channel today for T-Shirt Tuesday, then let me know in the comment section below as well. I'm definitely open for ideas. I'm definitely open for new things. If you guys like this one, give me a thumbs up because this one took a little while. As a matter of fact, it took research to get this one done. So if you guys liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, just go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, I do this all the time. As a matter of fact, T-Shirt Tuesday will be out every Tuesday and you guys can definitely expect that around one or two o'clock. And if you just wanna leave another comment or just say hey or just anything that you wanna know, then leave that in the comment section below. I'll definitely be sure to answer that and get back to you. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and close this one out. So stay amazing, stay creative, but above all else, stay awesome.